All right, today we're looking at Kenneth Lee Spears. Now, some of you might remember him from Friday Fruit Clips, episode number 33. But if you don't, that's okay. Uh, I also want to tell you up front that this is a man that we want to pray for. But at the same time, I'm doing this because I need to make you aware of him. Even though he has just a small channel, he still has a great capacity to post content uh, which contains abhorrent unbiblical teaching and, quite frankly, heresy. So we need to warn people about this. Now, the first thing that you should know about Kenneth here is that he is biblically illiterate to a spectacular degree. I'm not kidding. And if any of you have watched any of his videos, it's painfully obvious. Uh, he brags a lot about his degrees. Uh, nobody's ever seen him. So uh, all talk, and we'll prove that as we go here. Now, today I'm going to show you some things about this man, and I'll leave it up to you to decide whether you think this man is quite literally teaching witchcraft. And then we'll show you some other things as well. And we want to put the warning out there for anyone that would watch my video here to stand clear of this man as he simply poses as a Christian. But as you'll see, he is very far from that. All right, so here is his channel, Eternal Flame of Christ. He actually has two channels. Here's the other one, Eternal Flame of Christ. Why? Well, I'm not sure. Maybe it's a backup. But primarily, these are, I'm going to be showing you some clips from these two channels today. Now, I think I'd probably start at his channel here on the Community tab. And this is a, a post he just put up six hours ago. And you'll get the idea, especially if you want to go on your own and look through this guy's community page. Uh, he's quite obsessed with uh, Alabama woodsman Gary Schumacher and myself. But we want you to know exactly what this man, or I should say who this man thinks that he is. So if we just read this one right here, he tells us to go back and do our research. Timothy Dixon admitted in a video that he had a mini heart attack after he allowed his lips to speak my name. Now, if you think you're reading this wrong, you're not. Um, Kenneth thinks that he is some sort of super prophet of God, that if you come against him, you will either get sick or die. You get the picture? Uh, and you're going to see that quite a bit. I'm not going to go through every single one because there's literally probably between 100 and 200 posts in the last month or so. And uh, so, yeah, he's quite obsessed. But he likes to roar. He likes to roar a lot. He continues, Robin Bullock's daughter was hospitalized and almost died after he tried to curse my books that I caught him stealing and took down his main YouTube channel for copyright violations. Ken Christmas attempted to call down the death angel on me after I gave him a copyright strike for stealing my prophecies. And his own son, heir to his legacy, died immediately after. Do you see how sick this guy is? He's claiming deaths and heart attacks and sicknesses uh, for those that come against him. Um, you have violated Psalms 105.15, which he has no idea what that actually means, which is very sad. He continues, I don't have to and have not called down judgment upon you three. You did that to yourselves. <laughs> Get your lies straight. Perry Stone had to be committed to a mental institution. Boy, talk about it's so ironic that he brings up a mental institution, right? Jonathan Kahn, artist, had to be hospitalized twice. Jonathan's lawyer, who made a false statement against me, had to be hospitalized and have major shoulder injury surgery. <laughs> Tom Horn is dead. Do you see how sick this guy is? Do you see how sick this man is? Because he wouldn't stop stealing and twisting my prophecies. Keep on believing there are no current day prophets. Drew just had to pay a dear price for not believing what the holy word of God says. Hopefully your wife can get through your thick, prideful skull, Drew. So, again, it's like I'm paying a dear price because my, my wife had double foot surgery, which has been scheduled for like three months. It's crazy. But this is... So you get an insight to this man's mind. And again, this is why I do always, will always say that we, we need to pray for this guy. And then again, you can read through some of these. It is, he's absolutely obsessed with all three of us. 
And it's, I mean, it would be funny if it wasn't so sad. I'm trying not to laugh, but it is true. Uh, he called down breast cancer on my wife. Yeah, so here's that post right here. You can see what he says here. Drew, you don't believe in anything scripture says at all, which is a lie. Uh, he says, your wife is a survivor of breast cancer. I would hate for God to reverse that healing. This man is absolutely evil, as though he could do any of that, which is nonsense. Uh, this man is cursing, and this is what witches do. They curse people. Now, right now, we're over at my email. And I had to, I've gotten so many emails from Kenneth that I had to create his own file here. Um, and you can see all the emails that he has sent me. Now, I have never emailed this man, at least that I can remember. If I ever responded, it was because I may not have known who it was at the time, but it's going to be nothing significant. But this man emails me all the time. Now, just to give you an idea, this guy says that he is a holy prophet of God. And he, his claims are much greater than that, as we'll find out if you stick with me. But I want you to look at what he sent me just as an idea. Look what he says here. Now, keep in mind, I do not know this man at all. He emails me and says, I wanted to share this with you in regards to your latest survey. Not appropriate for a Christian platform, but perfect for a good inside laugh. Imagine Picard looking at these false prophets and this being his response. Now, I want to warn you, this is graphic, so hide your eyes. But this is what this apparent holy prophet of God sent to me, thinking in his sick mind that I would think this is funny. This man is absolutely demented. And again, I'll say, I do not know this man. I have no idea why he would send this to me other than he is delusional and needs help. All right, so right now I'm going to play a two-minute video from Kenneth. This is on his channel. You can see the title, The Power of Prayer and Crystals. And I'll let you decide at the end, uh, because what you're about to see here, in my opinion, is witchcraft as well as blasphemy. So take a listen. I wanted to do a quick video on this to, to educate, teach y'all about the power. And what you see here are basic stones, but they're also crystal. There's, they're made up of crystals. Now, when you see depictions of Jesus and what we know about prayer, is Jesus would hold his hands in such a manner, or he would hold them like so <clears throat> as he prayed. But what I'm going to show you in this is what he was doing as he was praying. This is what he was doing when he prayed like that. And like this, he had stones. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to turn the lights off and show you how this works. Now what that just what you just witnessed was light. These stones produce light. And they do so when you pray in such a way. You can have these stones and grind them together. You can't see it into the light hardly. You can see it a little bit. That's what the power of these simple basic stones have. Remember what the Bible teaches. You are the light of the world. Crystals, ladies and gentlemen, they have very, very powerful things that they can do. Well, now, Kenny said that Jesus did this. And to that, I asked the listener, did he? Did Jesus use crystals? And the answer, of course, is no. Jesus did not. What Kenny just did here was lie in the name of Jesus Christ. There is not one verse, not one chapter, not one jot or tittle in the New Testament or the Old Testament where any man, woman, or child of God, including Jesus Christ, used crystals in any way, shape, or form for mystical gain or power. There is not one. Nada. 
and Kenny will argue over this, probably bringing up the priestly breastplate, but let me assure you, anytime crystals, gemstones are mentioned in the Bible, it has to do with representing the 12 tribes of Israel and or for beauty, nothing for mystical gain or power. But here's what Kenny did here. He lied in the name of Jesus Christ. He put these crystals in the hands of Jesus as though Jesus needed crystals for his power or for light or for healing or for prayer. This is atrocious, as though Jesus doesn't or didn't already have the power in him alone. This man, Kenny, is a liar. And at the end of this video, Kenny says, well, you know, this is the, this is the power of simple, basic stones. And to that I say, really? What power? Kenny performed a third grade science experiment. He turned out the lights and he created sparkly friction with two rocks. And he says, that's power. Really? What did you do, Kenny? Nothing. It's not power. But here's what he did do. He got his listeners to put hope in rocks, right? He thinks, that, or I should say they think by going out probably to a witchcraft store and buying crystals, that they're going to have that same power. Why? Well, because Jesus used crystals, according to their teacher, Kenny Lee Spears here. And this is the damage. This is how witchcraft is introduced into the church through illiterates like Kenny Lee Spears. So just as an add-on warning here, who uses crystals? Well, witches do. New Age uses crystals. Look, here is an ex-psychic giving the warning about crystals, evil, witchcraft, and the demonic. But Kenny says, no, come on, kids, use crystals. Hey, even Jesus used crystals, kids. Isn't that neat? This is absolutely terrifying. And again, only serves to show you how some people pretending to be biblical scholars are ushering in witchcraft. So do your own search, be aware, stay away from crystals, and stay away from Kenny. Now, one thing that I can tell you for certain when it comes to Kenneth Lee Spears is that he's a coward of extraordinary measure. And I don't say that lightly or with any exaggeration. He really is. Now, Kenny has demonstrated in full view of the public, of anyone and everyone, that he has no actual ability to defend his false doctrine or his outrageous claims. So what he does is he attacks children, he attacks women, and he attacks, yes, military veterans. Now, this is a post that he put up two days ago concerning Gary. And I'm not going to read this. You can pause this and read this for yourself. But in essence, what he does is he calls Gary a coward for joining the Navy. This is Gary Schumacher, a veteran who served in the Persian Gulf, by the way. And this man comes out and calls him a, a coward. Uh, by the way, it's particularly insulting to me also. Both my grandpas were Navy veterans who served in World War II. And I also think the Navy SEALs would have something to say to this coward, Kenny Lee Spears. So again, just recapping here so you can really get an idea of how evil this man is. Kenny says he has multiple college degrees. Have we seen him? Of course not. He just flaps his jaws and just brags and boasts about this, but nobody's seen his college degrees. And when we ask, you know, let's see him, he'll do something. For example, he's going to come and attack my wife, calling down a reversal of healing on her breast cancer. Uh, Kenny won't produce any evidence of stolen prophecies. He will not produce any links to the apparently hundreds and thousands of TV programs he's been on worldwide with doctors, so on and so forth. Uh, he's got two thumbnails that he probably has posted at least 40, 50 times, the same two shows. One of them's with a nutritionist, I think, and the other one's with a chiropractor. But he, nevertheless, he's going to continue to brag and he gets angry. So what does he do? Well, he's going to attack Gary's children. 
And he has, sadly, uh, he stated, uh, Kenny stated he was a juvenile officer and uh, insinuated he had the power to take Gary's children away with a call to social services or something like that. It's, st it's all still up there. This man is absolutely evil. He then attacks Gary's veteran status. He attacks uh, military veterans, of course, with everything that's going on with Israel. And that's very evident when you look at the remainder of his posts. Although, I'm sorry, also worth noting, he's cursed Alabama woodsmen, or at least he thinks he has, with a neurological disorder. I kid you not. That's what this man does. And to me, uh, anybody that curses with this magnitude has got to be practicing witchcraft. Now, we're going to watch a clip right here. Kenny often does ridiculous teaching videos. It, it is so epically cringe, where he thinks he can demonstrate new things, I guess, uh, but they're, they're actually outrageously unbiblical fallacies, where he offers zero proof of his claims. And again, as you'll see here, uh, in many cases, it's outright satanic. So watch this clip. What we're going to learn, this new thing I want to teach you, so it's not talked about. It's actually been removed from the Bible. What's not learned about is Satan, and again, this goes to show you that God, the Lord himself, can flip the plans of Satan on its head because, again, he knows the end from the beginning. So he would actually use satan's plans own plans against him so when he was telling the disciples that he had to go to the cross and remember uh peter uh refuted that he, he wasn't going to let allow jesus to do that but he explained that he had to make that sacrifice it was very important that he make that sacrifice so what's not taught is that satan believed falsely believed that <clears throat> this was going to allow him to mark Jesus. It was going to allow him to stake a claim on Jesus. All right, so is there anybody looking at this right now that does not think that this looks creepy, right? Does this paper not look like some sort of evidence that detectives might find, you know, at like a Night Stalker, Richard Ramirez murder scene? I mean, good grief. Kenny wants you to believe that he's an all-powerful prophet, and look what he drew. <laughs> this, this is crazy. What Christian person in any universe would draw this? A crucifix with 666 on it. Well, here's a hint. A Christian wouldn't do this, but a witch would, right? For this video, I've left a link in the description box that if you're curious or interested, uh, you should check that, that link out. It's actually a video to a song that I'm kind of uh, partial to. And the song is titled November Rain. Some of you old enough to remember may remember this uh this video that was put out by Guns N' Roses many, many years ago. And there's something significant in it. And I just want to see if anybody can find the significance in this video. It's important for you to see this because you would realize how it relates to the things that I've recently talked about. And it will help you see that there are things and have been things that have been occurring for a long time. Things that date back. Prophecy that I was aware of a long time ago. But also, if you listen to what he was saying, and believe me, I had to stop because I couldn't take any more, but you can go listen to it. This man is saying, well, 2,000 years ago, Satan was going to stake his claim. You think, you think Satan was speaking English 2,000 years ago? See, he's trying to do wordplay here, but it doesn't work, not even close. And this is the tell. He doesn't understand that. 
he doesn't understand it. And again, this all wise, powerful prophet shows you that he is deeply and grossly biblically illiterate. And I'm not trying to be mean. This man is teaching this stuff to whoever will listen. And what he said at the beginning of the clip, well, this was taken out of the Bible. Really? This was taken out of the Bible? Do you have any proof for that? And the answer is no, of course not. Kenneth never brings forth proof. You just have to believe what he says. And if you don't believe him, well, he's going to curse you and he's going to attack you relentlessly. And that's the pattern. And this is why I'm showing you this stuff today so you can understand where we're coming from because it's important. Witches have infiltrated the church. Honestly, look at this. Putting a 666 on a cross for what? In order to mock God. That's what it's for. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to run through some of this man's other posts so you can really get an idea of, of what's going on in this man's mind. This is at his YouTube community page. And by the way, this is still up. You can go look at it, or he might try to run and delete these. Look what he posts. Oh, remember, this man hates Israel. He says, I have about had all I'm going to put up with. You will learn a hard lesson, Israel, and any other nations that support the atrocities that are being committed. Now, what he did was he posted Revelation 11.6. This has to do with the two witnesses. Why would he post that? Well, look, he attaches articles. One Israeli soldier killed 10 hospitalized after a deadly fungal outbreak in war-ravaged Gaza. Is he done? Nope, he's got more. So what he's doing here, and you know that I'm right about this, is he's claiming credit for releasing this fungal outbreak. Again, read what is he saying up here. I've had all I'm going to put up with. You'll learn a hard lesson. What do you mean, I, Kenneth? Oh, guess Kenneth got tired of Israel, so he himself called down a fungal outbreak. If you don't believe that that's what he thinks he did, try again. This man is demented. Here's a post that he made about 10 days ago. Look what he says here. Don't be biblically illiterate and know what a true prophet of God has the authority to do. These couple of years, these ones had to promote their false Messiah Trump was the mercy I was giving them to repent. Apparently, Kenny here was being merciful. Isn't that something? Here's one that he made a post on Perry Stone, basically saying that his health is declining because Perry Stone stole prophecies from him. Oh my gosh. He also talks about Tom Horn, who died as a result of stealing prophecies from Kenneth Lee Spears. Here's another one that he did on Gary, where he tells Gary, well, you better get your house in order. Can you imagine this type of bullying? You can read this for yourself. And again, some of you might think this is monotonous. Uh, this is also to document this. Here's one where he says that Alabama lied on him and that God punished him with a neurological disorder because he violated uh, Psalms 105.15. See what happens when liars come against and attack what he says is a true prophet of God, him. And he goes on and he says, Tom Horn, Perry Stone, Jonathan Kahn, Timothy Dixon, Robin Bullock, Pat Robertson, and others. Some of them now sit six feet under where their souls are suffering in hell. Why? Because he thinks they came against him. This is how utterly demented this guy is. Now, this one was a comment. Uh, this person up here said, In the days ahead, many false prophets will fall. Eternal flame is a false prophet. Always bragging, tooting his horn. His days are numbered. Now, I don't, have no idea who this is, but I want you to look how Kenneth responded. Read this right here. He says, what you fail to realize is that I have the reed that is like a measuring rod. I, he says, I am the black horse rider and will measure and judge you in accordance with sound biblical doctrine. This is madness, is it not? Now, out of all these that I'm showing you, stop what you're doing and read this one. I'm pretty sure he deleted this one. I took a snapshot because I knew he would. Look what he said. 
even the big one, I'm sorry, even the ones bigger than you warn against me, I take down mainstream televangelists on a daily basis as a hobby, he says. It's like my side gig. People who are more intelligent than you have been warned or have warned you, Gary, your embarrassing YouTube days are done. And it's because you have children to deal with. Get off YouTube and deal with your children. The most important thing. He says, this is Kenneth Lee speaking. He says, I am dangerous. I can call down whatever curse I want. Does that sound Christian to you? Does that sound like a man who follows the doctrine of Jesus Christ? And he says, and Gary is now seeing that. Will he repent the question and is the question and do better? Just again, this is madness. Now in the book of Romans chapter 12, let's go to verse 14. Bless them which persecute you, bless and curse not. In the book of Luke chapter 6, we can scroll down to, well, let's go to verse 27. But I say unto you which hear, love your enemies, do good to them which hate you, bless them that curse you, and pray for them which despitefully use you. Right? We are supposed to bless, not curse. In the book of Matthew, chapter 5, we're going to scroll way down to, let's start at verse 43. You have heard that it hath been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. Verse 45, what? That ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven, for he maketh the sun rise on the evil and the good, and sendeth rain on the just and the unjust. So let me ask you something. What if you got a guy claiming to be a Christian that doesn't do this, but rather curses? Well, guess what you don't have? For you're not the children of your Father which is in heaven. Right? So this is an easy equation to understand. If you love your enemies and bless them that curse you, you're going to be known as a child of your father. To do the opposite of this, would you would not be a child of your father. It's that easy. All right, I'm going to play you one more clip, and then we're going to do a wrap-up, and we'll, uh, we'll close down this video. So you can see the title here, Solomon's Wisdom Given Unto Me. <laughs> Oh boy, and he believes it. So, uh, all right. So, anyway, let's listen to this clip and what he claims next. This demon is subject to the one that that has authority over this demon is actually Joel, like as in the prophet Joel, who was the second of the major prophets. Understand that Joel was the second of the major prophets. And this demon is subject to him. Joel is actually an angel, a major angel in heaven now. Many people, uh, uh, prophets especially, after their work is done on earth, they ascend to heaven. And they, when they ascend to heaven, they become angels. The prophets become major angels under the appointment of the Lord. Again, truly biblically illiterate, Joel was not a major prophet. Joel was one of the 12 minor prophets, and you can find or you can cite a number of sources. Wow. That, that's, all I can say is, wow, this, this guy thinks he, oh my, well, I'm, I'm just stunned, at a loss. And then, of course, also this man, astonishingly again, uh, and quite frankly, not only unbiblical, but blasphemous, stating that without a single shred of evidence, claims that the prophet Joel and many other prophets, well, they were turned from men into angels. This is blasphemy. But if you really think that that's true, well, these biblical men, they got demoted into angels. But see, Kenneth he cannot figure this out. He is, again, just blabbering things he does not understand. My goodness, it is shocking. His claims versus reality. 
and the uneducation of this man. What blasphemy. He is changing the Bible. And it is just silly, isn't it? How he even made it onto this program. I want to show you this, by the way. This is what he brags about. Let me come down. And I'll just kind of show you. People think I'm being mean, but here's a, a talk show he was on. Uh, according to him, these are the worldwide talk shows. Uh, this one, pretty, uh, pretty snappy. It had 106 views. So again, just uh, par for the course with Kenneth Lee Spears. All right, so as I close up this video, I wanted to come out and read a statement. Uh, but in closing, I wanted you to see me uh, so that you can know that I'm serious. Uh, I'm not interested in social media fighting, uh, so I have to state that this has everything to do with actual doctrine, biblical doctrine, and defending the honor of my wife, who was attacked by a witch coward. And so that's why I'm doing this. Some of the people that do want to internet fight, I avoid that because I don't think Christians should be just fighting for the sake of fighting. We're, we're not supposed to do that. But doctrine, of course, we fight for the faith, we defend the doctrine of Jesus Christ, and we defend it against witches and cowards. Um, so that's why I'm out here doing this. And so um, some of you might say, hey, Drew, why don't you debate Kenneth? And to that I would say, well, I think after what I've shown you here today, uh, it's very obvious that this person is fantastically unqualified. He still thinks that when people die, they become angels. And we put away those things as nursery, rain, nursery rhymes faded away from our childhood, but not Kenneth. Um, I think for the most part, he demonstrates also that he is socially inept at even just life's basic challenges. You can't debate that. He can't be reasoned with. He can't be corrected, even biblically. So, and he practices witchcraft as far as I'm concerned. So. Uh, there's that. Um, and again, I, I apologize. I just want to read my notes, make sure that I don't leave anything off. I will tell you this. I do pray for Kenneth Spears, and I will continue to pray for this man because I follow the doctrine of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I wouldn't dare curse this man, ever. Um, some of these things are ridiculous, and, and I'm not going to lie. I do laugh at a lot of what he does. And then that's usually just before I remember how serious this is, this man needs help. But when he puts out these spectacular curses of, um, you know, my loved ones dying or being sick, it is, so, I, I'm not gonna lie, because I am human. There's sometimes where I've, I've laughed so hard that there's tears coming down my face um, before I have to get a hold of myself and, and pray for forgiveness, because it is so, it's just so dumb. And please forgive me. I just, I'm not going to lie. I'm being honest. There are times when I have laughed because I, I, I think that I'm being punked or if there's a hidden camera on me, is this real? Is there actually a human being out there that actually thinks like this and acts like this? It's, it's wow. I know Alabama woodsman and Gary and I have laughed into gut-wrenching pain. <laughs> at some of the things that this guy puts out there because I think we all think this has got to be a joke, but it's real. And so we come back to reality. And of course, at the end of the day, you do pray for this man. Um, but to Kenneth, I would say this, listen, Kenneth, if you're, if you're going to continue to curse me uh, or my wife, then I can't stop you. Have at it. I pray that you would stop. I pray that you would come to the, the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. But if you're going to continue cursing, I'm sure you'll probably evolve into much greater, more intricate, um, you know, pains and sufferings more elaborate schemes of, you know, death and so on and so forth. That's fine. You're going to do that. We're all going to watch you do this. But I want you to understand, listen to me very closely and look into my eyes. I do not fear you, not even 
not even a smidgen, not even a little bit. In fact, it would be less than zero. You have to know this. You have to understand this. But I know in your mind somewhere you think that I fear you. I've had death called down on me 17, 18 times that I can remember, probably more over the last, you know, six or seven, eight years. So you're like number 19. You don't scare me. Your witchcraft doesn't scare me. Your cursing doesn't scare me. I, I, I probably can't convince you because in your mind you're going to continue and we'll watch you continue, but we'll also continue to pray for you. And so biblically, that's what we do as Christians. But I do pray that you would stop, um, at least stop attacking women, stop attacking children, stop attacking military veterans. This is what a man is supposed to protect. And so please, if you hear nothing else, hear that. Um, but anyway, <laughs> we'll leave it at that. And so I just wanted to get that out. And so we'll close this up in Jesus Christ's name. Kids, if you're listening, uh, don't play with crystals. Don't seek any, you know, uh, power from crystals, mystical power or gain from them. Okay. Um, seek Jesus Christ. Follow Jesus Christ. Read your Bible. Pray always. And stay away from the likes of people like Kenneth Spears who want to play with crystals. And uh, we'll wrap this up right here. God bless you guys so much. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye.